This Ridley-O sponsored by MuzzleBreak.com. Are you on the council? I am. A uh, question for you. And uh, who are you? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Okay. Poor, man, poor man's TV station. Uh-huh. Uh, there was a free stater arrested a few months ago uh, driving, and uh, that's no big deal in and of itself, but uh, she was told by police that she did not have the right to remain silent. They threatened to arrest her if she didn't answer questions. Do you support LPD doing that? I don't know anything about it. I would be surprised if the LAPD did that. Um, we're supposed to respect all people's constitutional well, I, rights. I saw, so the, I saw the video. I don't know anything about it. You're it me information. Well, okay, in general, would you support or oppose the idea of your police telling people they can't remain silent? I support the Constitution fully. Okay, all right, thanks. I think I was filming me. I'm filming him. Oh, cool. I guess I must. There's also, there also an indication that the police had left the passengers of the vehicle out in the cold. I don't know anything about the Well, case. I'm not saying no, you need no, to. No, no, You're giving me facts and asking me to comment facts I don't know anything about. I don't think that's fair. But in general, do you support or condemn in the. In general, I support the United States Constitution, the New Hampshire Constitution, and the rights of all our citizens. How about the Laconia Police Department? Should it or should it not leave people out in the cold when they make a, a, a pullover? Uh, I am. I've got a question for you. There was an incident earlier this year where LPD, I guess they arrested a lady while she was driving, which is not that unusual. Um, but they made her passengers, uh, they, they apparently made her passengers stand out in the cold uh, and I guess sort of stranded them there. I'm not asking you to comment on the specific case, but do you have, a, do you support or oppose LPD kind of, you know, taking uh, people out of cars and leaving them by the side of the road? I wouldn't even comment without knowing any other particulars. Uh, I'm it, sorry. It, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not asking you to, to comment on the specific case, but do you want your police department leaving people by the side of the road in the cold when they, when they arrest the driver? Um, I really, you know, you're, you're kind of asking a leading question that no matter which way I answer, it's kind of going to be wrong no matter which way I answer. Are you? Without yours? knowing particulars, were they left out there for 12 hours? Were they left out there for 12 minutes? Were they left out there? Was somebody with them? Were they on a dark road, a light road? I can't even begin to answer you. Did you get any pressure from the police department to, to think or answer a certain way? I'm not way? even aware of this happening, quite honestly. That's why so I'm here. I couldn't tell you. Okay. My, I would refer you to the police department or one of their liaisons. You're their boss. I, actually, we're not. The police commission is their boss. So you're not in charge of your own police department? No, the police commission is our boss. If you'd like, I can get the city manager, and he can discuss that with you. But the hierarchy no, I'll of the city, him too. hierarchy of the city, is that the police commission is elected, and they are in charge of the police department. Do you have control over their budget, at least? Um, they make up their own budget. We have, I guess, maybe the final say, but typically they're very conservative. Okay. So that's all I can really help you with. All right, thanks okay. so much. Yeah. This Ridley O sponsored by MuzzleBreak.com. Is your AK 47 passing the accuracy test? Would you like your AR 15 to be more useful in hand to hand combat? And are you spending too much of this on long gun solvents? Muzzlebreak.com may be for you. It aims to solve all three problems at once on several long gun types. By cutting recoil and potentially collecting those costly solvents for reuse, it can help land your rounds on the mark and be more environmentally friendly. The brake doubles as a blunt force striking tool. Ouch! 
Be careful, the combination you create doesn't accidentally violate the law.